I wanted to talk about three inch and four inch pipe. There's a reason why there's a three inch pipe and there's a reason why there's a four inch pipe. When choosing the right pipe, you want to make sure that you're flowing enough water to get the self cleaning properties of corrugated pipe going and working for you. If you have a low flow application, you want to use the three inch pipe. In a low flow application, you can keep the three inch pipe clean. Now the jump from three inch to four inch, look at the difference. These are couplers. These are our couplers that take you from four inch PVC to four inch corrugated or four inch PVC to three inch corrugated. Look at the difference between the three and the four. Huge, huge jump. There's 77% more area, three inch versus four. That is how much greater the area of a four inch pipe is than a three. It's a really big jump. People don't realize just how big a jump it is. Now this pipe needs to be for main trunk lines when you're running a roof runoff system and you're tying say three four five downspouts on three inch pipe you run it to a four inch trunk line these three inch branch lines will stay nice and clean by the time you get all that water to this trunk line you now have enough water to keep this larger diameter pipe clean but why the huge jump? Look at this. Why do we not have a pipe that puts us somewhere in the middle? This is absolutely ridiculous that we end up with 77% greater area when you look at 3 inch versus 4. It's just a massive increase. And the way everybody's treating this 4 inch as one size fits all and they're running downspouts right from the gutter downspout on four inch. They're not transitioning it from three to four. They're running it right off the downspout in four inch. Now, if you had big three by four downspouts that were in a tropical storm region like Florida, I could understand that. You have a lot of rooftop, a lot of gutter, but in most cases, in the country, we are using 4-inch everywhere, and it's clogging. When you can't flow enough water through corrugated pipe, it clogs. It gets a bad reputation for this, but why is it clogging? Because so many people are using a low-flow application that should be on a 3-inch pipe, and they're using the 4-inch pipe instead, because that's all the big box stores typically will sell. So everybody's just grabbing a roll of four inch or a couple rolls of four inch and they're using it for everything. The branched lines as well as the trunk line. This is a problem. Now I've been saying for years, we need a pipe that's in between these two and it would better serve us in yard drainage, basement, interior waterproofing, three inch and four inch. 77% greater area. What a jump. Why can't we find something in the middle? What if we had a three and a half inch pipe? Now from three inch to three and a half, that gives you a 36% greater area when you're looking at three versus three and a half. And then when you compare three and a half to four, you're looking at 30% greater area. You got 36 right here. 36 point something percent greater area. Put you in a really nice pipe here. I love this size, three and a half. Now there's never been a three and a half, ever. And not just in the United States. There's not a three and a half inch pipe anywhere. There's not a three and a half inch corrugated pipe anywhere in the world. But look at this, from three inch to three and a half to four. Now this makes more sense to me. 
36 point something percent. And then from here to four, another 30 point something percent. Again, 77% greater increase if we just make this jump all the way to four. We put that somewhat in the middle. You know, we gain 36% right here. I love the idea of three and a half inch. If we had a three and a half inch corrugated pipe, I would run all my French drains with it. All my collection points would be three and a half. I would still go to trunk lines that were four. Absolutely. And I would love to run this off downspouts. This is a more user-friendly size, and it's not going to clog like the 4-inch pipe. Downspouts, a single downspout, even two downspouts, you're not going to keep a 4-inch pipe clean. You're not, unless you are in the tropical storm region. You know, you have Florida, Louisiana. You know, there's, there's certain states and certain areas of the states where you might get that monsoon every year that you can count on to really flush that line out clean. But here in the north, in most of the country, we don't see monsoons. So if there was a three and a half inch corrugated pipe, I would use it like mad. It would probably be our dominant pipe. And then we just go to a four inch for, for mains after we've done collected up a bunch of water. Let me know in the comments what you think. Should we make a three and a half inch pipe? If you found any of this information helpful, give us a thumbs up. It supports the channel. If you have any questions about this installation, leave them in the comments section. I'm your host, Robert Sherwood, and until that next video.